All right, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the New Year's show of the Biz with D. And right now, it looks like we have our Dricky, Dricky Graham on the line. What's going on, Mr. Dricky? Hey, man, what's going on, man? I'm cooling right now, man. It's good. You know, it's been the holidays. It's the area. It's the New Year's coming up and everything. So, I'm real good. That's good, D. For coming, for coming on the show, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. All right. So, what have you been on? Um, how you been, well, I should say, how you been since, you know, the last interview and everything? You know, you know, I've been pretty busy. Uh, I've been running around recording stuff. I've also been celebrating my 21st birthday. We've had several birthday bashers. So, uh, you know, we started out in L.A. and San Diego, and then we came over here to the East Coast and actually uh, went to Atlanta, then home in NC, then D.C., then N.Y. So it's just been, you know, it's been kind of crazy for me here in these past few weeks. Nice. Well, happy belated birthday, and um, you can finally drink now. Well, legally, that is. Because <laughs> I, well, we, we're not going, we're not going to air my business out there like that. But everybody under age drinks. Okay, that's let's just put it that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how has the album? How's the album coming along? I mean, the album's coming along great. You know, I've always been a bit of a perfectionist. I think I've actually stated that maybe in the last interview that we had. You know, it's a bit of a perfectionist. So everything's about timing and everything's about the right sound and what I want to display to my fans. So, you know, I think they're going to, uh, you know, go ahead and start releasing the next single pretty soon. And, you know, and uh, I think you guys will be excited to hear what's on the album. Nice. So have you guys pretty much picked the single, would you say? Uh, yeah, I believe that they have. Oh, okay. Could you give us like kind of a hint of what it would what it would sound like, pretty much? Um, you know, all I can really say about it is that it's, it's going to be me in entirety. It's just, you know, of course, it's going to be a different direction from Snapbacks and Tattoos. I never wanted to make the same record or the same song twice. But you know, I mean, it, it's definitely going to have its own unique sound. It's definitely going to be a sound fitting me and what I wanted, you know, what my fans to hear from me. Ooh. All right, so I think Miss Natasha had some questions, but she should, since she um, wasn't on the, the phone the last time with us. <laughs> so go ahead, Natasha. <laughs> My bad. I'm sorry. Well, um, I just want to say that, it, again, it's like an honor to be speaking with you right now. Um, I'm just from a different generation. You know, I always act like I'm way older, and David is always like, Natasha, you're not that old. But I have to say that I did not know what a snapback was. And I was, like, asking all my young friends, what's a snapback? What's a snapback? So I think I have it right now. It's a baseball cap. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah. A snapback is basically, you know, it's a, a hat. And it, you know, it basically has snaps in the back of the hat. But, you know, it's an adjustable fitted cap or whatever. Okay. And it's, uh, you know, basically came back in the style from, like, the 80s. You know, you've seen, like, NWA or if you watch Juice or Tupac, just, like, you know, that fashion came back in style. So, yeah. I mentioned mentioning um nwa and tupac okay that makes sense to me now so that's cool but my question is this um if you could tour with anyone who would you like to tour with um if i could choose anybody to tour with mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um I, honestly uh let me see if i put my own tour together and i'm um, i'm like i would say it would be ricky graham um eminem fabulous little wayne and uh, last but not least, I guess I'm going to go with uh, Busta. Because Busta's show is ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Out front, yeah, front and center stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, that, was, I think that, the, just that headline alone, like, you know, that, that lineup is just like, you know, that would bring the world <laughs> to, to a show. Definitely, yeah. definitely. That's a, a good selection. And I've always been a, a fan of Fabulous myself. Of course, Buster Rhymes, everybody that she named is pretty hot. And, of course, yourself, of course, doing the thing, doing the thing. <laughs> Thank you. So, Dricky, I have a question from a fan. They wanted to know, will we expect a collaboration with you and Kelly Rowland on the album? Oh, man, well, I'm a big fan of Kelly Rowland. I mean, you know, if anything is possible. So, you know, there's definitely, I mean, you know, if Kelly ever wanted to do a record, it, it is most definitely possible. So, 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 and I think that you guys definitely should collab because I think 
your style, her style, it would be great. Like, we we heard her collab with many rappers. We don't really hear her doing it with the young, the young rappers, the ones that are really on the come up and about to take it from the, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to name any names, but um, <laughs> we'll do that when we get off the air to speak privately. But I think right. that y'all should definitely collab just for the simple fact, like I told you before, you're dope. You have a unique sound. No one is talking about the things that you're talking about. And if they are, you're doing it in a much positive manner. Right. And I, I appreciate that. I really appreciate that you took the time to notice that. So. You know, I was looking through some of your music, and um, I believe you have a song called A Letter to My Son. Right. Right. Okay. I, I was listening to that, and I, I like the feel of that. And I just wanted to know: um, was that song just based on like real life instance, instances for you? And if so, um, how do you stay grounded in an industry um, based on those life experiences occurring to you? Um, well, the, let me. I got to break it down first. The Letters okay. to My Son song is actually a song by uh, Don Tripp. And um, basically, I did, a, I did a freestyle cover on the on the subject because he was targeting, you know, he had a dope message in his song school, but he was targeting uh, his situation as far as being with his baby mother and him being a good parent to his child, but her not allowing him to see his son, and, you know, and the struggles of that. And salute to all the men that's actually out here taking care of their kids. But uh, mine was a bit of a different approach. It's a, it's a letter to my son cover, but it's really like a letter to my father because I'm really addressing those guys that are, aren't in their kids' lives and, you know, how it, how it feels to be a man growing up in a society without a positive male role model or your father, you know, so I was just explaining different instances about, you know, those that, since the father may have been abusive or might have been out raising another family or, you know, whatever the case, and just letting the fathers know how important it is to be in their son or daughter's lives. And, yeah, I, I can only draw emotion off of real experiences. I was predominantly raised by my mother. I do have a good relationship with my father uh, as of later, as of later years. But, you know, really had to, I really had to get that off of my chest because I felt as though, you know, it's something that we all go through, especially in a, uh, right. minorities. It's something that we all right. go through. I think I, I want to explain my situation and just connect to everybody else, too. Right. Well, I'm definitely um, glad that you did that. And, again, when I was just looking through some of your music, that was one of the the ones that stood out to me because, like you say, you know, it's something that we all go through. I've been through it as well, you know, the rejection as an infant, but then later on coming to um, have a good relationship with my father. So, again, I'm glad that, you know, you're spreading that positive message and then just explaining the effects of fathers not being there, you know, just using your platform to do that. That's great. Thank you. But, Dricky, I never got a chance to ask you, but what, how do you handle a person that you don't like and you have to deal with them? A person that I don't like, I don't see. That's okay. just, that's just me. You know, I just, I really don't feed into it. I, I'm, I'm a bit of a, uh, uh, I mean, you know, I, I'm fun and I'm, I'm goofy, I'm wild, but, you know, I'm a bit of nonchalant when it comes to dealing with stuff like that. I'm, I'm really nonchalant. I'll brush it off really easy. I don't let it affect my emotions, you know, so any... Anything that, you know, haters are confused fans, as long as they're still, like, paying attention to you and still giving you, you know, that attention, and that's still all I need. But in the end, you know, it doesn't really matter to me one way or the other other, what what a a bad, opinionated person thinks. If it's constructive criticism either way, I'll take it. But if it's just a bad, opinionated person, I don't even see him. Right. I know know that's right, and I can honestly, personally relate to that. I'm not going to speak on the situation. I just thought I'd ask to see what your take on a situation like that. If that was, if you were in that, basically in that position, how you would deal with it? Because a lot of people deal with it differently. I thought I right. would just, you know, ask you. And I'm pretty much the same way. Not even they're not there. I'm focused. I don't even see them. Exactly. That's what's up. Now, what would you say definitely is one of the worst lies you ever told to a female? A question from one of the fans <laughs> in the chat. One of the worst lies I've ever told a female. Mm-hmm. Um, worst lies. 
I'm trying to think. Because, you know, I, I see, you know, and I'm not trying to paint a perfect picture like I'm some type of saint. But, you know, I don't really find myself in that situation often because I'm, I'm, I'm very blunt. I'm very blunt. I'm hard. I'm the harsh truth guy, you know. So right. a lot of times I'm hurting people's feelings. But it's, it's the, like the, because I, I, I like the, the, the respect of the honesty. But, you know, if I, if I had, if I, I think if I've been in a situation where it's like uh, a lie, you know, it'll be something quick. Like, you know, let's just say you're on the phone with somebody and they're talking your head off. I'm like, hey, you know, my mom's calling in right now. Can I call you right back? <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, thank you, God. Like, you know, what are the I think, I think those, those are the situations that I end up, you know, and then I feel bad about it later. And I'm like, oh, I got to call them back. <laughs> 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 right. Me personally, I don't call them back. I'm just like, that, that's it. Put it in the that's, bag. Jerky's a good guy at heart, David. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jerky's a good, it's a good guy, period. I mean, we can do right. it from just like interviews. I can just talking to him, you know, even though this is an interview. I mean, me speaking to him off the, you know, off the air and stuff like that. Like, seriously, he is just the same. He is a great guy. So, shout yeah, out to I Jerky real that. quick on being one of the coolest. Yeah, anyway, I appreciate that. That means a lot. So, what is your um, New Year's resolution for um, 2013? My New Year's resolution, uh, basically, into 2013, is that you know, of course, uh, to, to basically keep focus. You know, stay, stay determined, stay building fans, stay progressing in my career, you know, and while while staying humble and staying blessed and, you know, keeping my faith towards God, you know. Yeah, I just, yeah, just asked him for more success and more opportunities to bless myself as long as bringing others along to bless them as well. well absolutely, and that's a great way to be. So, Natasha, you have any um, other questions? Well, I think that's mm-hmm. awesome. Um it's just so nice to, to hear how genuine that you are because a lot of times when you have the perception or you see um, artists just in their mode, you don't get to really feel the quality of their nature. And, um, again, it's an honor to be speaking with you. Um, I think that my question is, so we can anticipate a second album from you in 2013. Is that right? Well, I mean, well, I've dropped I've dropped the mixtape already. I'm thinking about doing a second mixtape, but this is going to be my first album. It's entitled uh, Success by the Gram, and so okay. uh, that's going to be dropping in 2013 sometime. I was saying early, but we're, we're, we're probably going to be maybe early, maybe middle, because, you know, like like I said before with that, I mean, I'm sorry to keep bringing up the perfectionist word, but, you know, it's just no, that, that's like, fine. I'm so, it's so critical. I'm critical on myself when it comes to my work, so, you know. That's just the whole case with that. But um, in the meantime, you know, of course, I know as we spoke last time, I do have a mixtape already out with 15 songs on there. I'm thinking about uh, releasing a new mixtape, you know, and it's a you guys are getting exclusive on that. I haven't really even talked to many people about it, but, you know, seeing about working oh. on that and then while also simultaneously dropping the album. All right, that sounds hot. Well, thank you so much again for uh, coming on the show, Dricky, and... Once again, just keep doing your thing. Hope you have a great New Year. And, of course, you know, if you want to pass out some records and stuff like that, bring, bring it this way. We, be, we definitely want to be the first to drop it and know that we all, you always have our support. Thank you, and you guys as well. I appreciate you guys for having me here. Not a problem. Thank you.